Hello and welcome. My name is Luke Holder, I'm the Executive Chef at the Limewood Hotel and we're here at Backstage Kitchen where we're going to be cooking a pork chop, sous vide and we're going to be serving it with braised bolotti beans. In order to get this rolling, you take a little pan, add the bolotti beans, the celery, the onions, and there's about two onions here, just cut into quarters. A head of garlic, skin on, keep it nice and simple. Pancetta, cut into nice, thick, chunky lardons. The bay leaf, the thyme, and if you can, I'm fortunate enough here to have some chicken stock. And one of the key tricks to remember when you're braising beans is don't add any salt until the end. The salt can firm up the beans and make it a struggle for them to tenderize. And we'll bring it up to the boil and turn it down, let it just simmer for about half an hour, 40 minutes, or until those beans go soft. So meanwhile, what we're gonna be serving with this is a candied San Manzano tomato. The San Manzano tomato, you might recognize more commonly as the type of tomato you find in a tin tomato. The reason why these are used in tin tomatoes is they have a low water content. So they're a really tasty dried tomato. A little tip in order for you to take the skin off is to burn the skin off. It takes seconds. Now it looks like quite a severe treatment of the tomato, but it blisters the skin pretty quickly and it makes it such an easy job to peel the tomato. Once we've removed the skin, we're going to dry them out. So as you can see here, these have just come out of the oven, so they've had 90 minutes at 90 degrees. You can see just how much they've shrunk from the original tomato. So in order to make the salsine liquor, again, very, very simple, we take our honey, a good quality sherry vinegar ideally, coriander seeds, some star anise, a little rosemary, just straight in as a whole sprig is absolutely fine. And with the garlic, give it a little bash, release that lovely oil. And then all we're doing is bringing that up to the boil. As it's come up, I'm just gonna drop that vanilla pod in. And I'm gonna drop the tomatoes in. And then just give them a little basting. Just make sure those tomatoes are completely covered and lead them to steep, and we'll take them out just before we serve the bolotti beans with the pork. Okay, so now we're gonna to come to using the sous vide machine. So, this is a little bar sealer. We've got our pork chops. These are French trims. That just means that the bone's been cleaned up. All you wanna be doing, taking a nice little rind of lemon. That releases those volatile oils in there. And I'm gonna add that to my vacuum pack bag with a little splash of olive oil and at this point I'm going to season the pork also a little mold and salt you can see that's in there nice and simply okay and the key thing now is just to make sure we get a nice clean seal click it in and press the vacuum seal The great thing about this, you can get ahead on these. You can be spend time entertaining with your guests and then these are ready to go. These take 40, 45 minutes in the water bath and dinner will be served. I'm gonna chuck my pork in. And straight off the bat, you can hear that sizzling. And again, nice and hot. But this is also a great dish if you go into the summer where you can barbecue it. Once it's coloured, you can bring it out and we can start plating. You can just see just how tender and juicy that is no dryness, perfect cooking all the way through. And there we have it, pork chop, sous vide, bolotti beans, candied tomato, and as you can see, moist all the way through and very little effort.